Hey, what is up everyone? Nick here with my review for The Flash, episode 5 of season 2, titled The Darkness and the Light. Now, just jumping right out of the gates here, the thing that struck me about this episode was how much it focused on the sort of relationship and history of Harrison Wells in Earth 2, because throughout the episodes thus far, we've kind of been introduced to the character, and he's seemingly acted a bit differently, and he's been portrayed slightly differently, but this episode really gave a chance for that character to shine. That version of that character to shine and I really enjoyed seeing this different dynamic that he brought to the team because he was just vastly different than his uh, Earth 1 counterpart that eventually turned out to be the reverse Flash and in this version of uh, Harrison Wells he's kind of more uh, uptight he's more cocky he's more confident with you know stopping evil and pushing Barry to his limits and even Cisco for that matter the episode also featured the villain Dr. Light who was played by Earth 2 Linda Park which is also pretty cool to see uh, that that sort of reveal and then her story in the episode is just kind of like she isn't a killer but she's been forced by zoom otherwise he's gonna kill her if she doesn't kill the flash or if she doesn't kill her own self in earth one which she attempts to do in this episode uh, another few things i want to talk about is the funny stuff that happened on the blind date with barry and patty i thought that was really cool it was just really funny to see you know barry stumbling over his words and stuff with like the the uh, shades that he had on and cisco kind of trying to help him out i thought that was a cool scene. It was also cool to see Cisco finally accept his powers and become the vibe or at least you know that's what he told Team Flash like Barry I think suggested the name and he liked it so that'll be cool to see also Cisco meets Hawkgirl working at the coffee shop uh, Kendra Saunders who's gonna be Earth 2 version of Hawkgirl. I thought that was awesome that they kind of introduced her in a natural way rather than just have her pop up one day and be like hey I'm Hawkgirl or something like she actually is trying to fit in at on this earth and uh, kind of keep a low profile until like comes rolling around. Also, there was a really cool Aquaman reference that Jay Garrick said, hey, like, my friend is from Atlantis, whatever, like, one of my best friends, it's still above the water on uh, Earth 2, so that was awesome. And then the last thing I want to talk about is the cliffhanger for this episode, which reveals that Harrison Wells' daughter on Earth 2 is actually being held prisoner by Zoom, and I, I'm guessing that's why Harrison Wells is really trying to stop Zoom in the episode, because the whole time he's just constantly pressuring Barry into just taking Zoom head on like at this point even though Barry has like almost no training against Zoom or has ever encountered him before he's just like hey you got to take him out like just right away you know but I I'm guessing it's because he's holding his daughter hostage so all in all I really enjoyed the episode um there was a bunch of cool stuff that happened this one um alongside the second episode I think it's probably my favorite of the season so far I think that was just like so many cool moments I love 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 Harrison Wells or two so far he's awesome and I really hope that he sticks around and actually plays a bit big role in the season because I mean anytime we get more of uh, the actor I'm blanking on the actor's name right now for some reason but you guys will correct me hopefully down in the comments below but yeah uh, anytime we get more of him on the show it's great so I'm gonna give this one a 9 out of 10 and let me know what you guys thought of the episode down below and as always this is Nick signing off till next time